So I made an accessory for my truck. Let me show you what's going on with the top part of the truck here and I'll tell you why I made the accessory. On top of my truck I have the rack and then you can see these two these two black things here they're they're actually ratchet straps that go over the rack and attach to the other side but when I have a piece of drywall or a piece of plywood on the bottom part of this because the strap goes over that over those over those bars it won't keep that drywall flat and it's very difficult to push it in between those uh, little squiggly things on the bars for support so I made an accessory now it's kind of crude looking but it's just a just a an accessory that goes on to where the black ratchet would be here and then the strapping would go in between here follow all the way through to here and then strap on to the other part of the rack. Now the reason that this indentation is here is so the strapping doesn't falter left and right. The nice thing is is once this is put on top of let's say the drywall or the or the plywood these pieces here, these stabilizer pieces will keep it nice and flat so I can ratchet that down nice and flat. So how it's going to work is like this. So while it's up on top I have a piece of I have a piece of wood up here and this will latch onto it. You can see it's just above this bar and it straps down because these are ratchets and the ratchets go all the way across and will link onto that other bar on the other side and it will hold this piece of of wood down or plywood or or drywall even if it's a single piece because it's above the rail. Now you can see that the two by fours underneath are holding it down nice and secure so any kind of wind that comes up I'm going to be okay. So that's that's kind of how it works. Now I got one for here and I'll have one for that ratchet over here for on the other side. So this particular piece I can't put inside my truck because it's too big, but I can put it on top. Now if I had a full length piece that was eight feet long, I can certainly put it, put both of those um, accessories on top and it would be nice and secure and I could drive all day long with it. So that'd be really great. So I've built two of them, one for each side where the ratchets are and this is how it's put together. Now basically this is all two by fours. So this is a four foot two by four, four foot two by four. These are six inches deep here. I've got two of them together and I glued them together with Gorilla Glue and then put screws in them. Same thing here, they're six inches deep. It, they're two pieces of two by four put together. I Gorilla Glued them and then I did the drywall screws and the same thing with this piece here. Again, these are four feet long pieces here, and then these are 18 inches long. I put them one on both, one on both ends and one directly in the center. It was pretty easy to put together. Everything is either glued and or screwed together. And then I put an exterior translucent, and this is called Canyon Brown. Valspar's got it. It's an exterior stain I put on the outside because I know I'm going to be using this outside periodically in the rain. So I don't want it to destroy it, put too much work into it, so I'm, I'm just going to uh, make it last for a while. Little things like that are, are easy to make. You can make something like this. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not going to show you how to cut wood because I think you already know how to cut the wood, but putting it together is a different story. That's the fun part. So you can certainly do this. There's no reason why you can't do this and don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do it. Of course you can do it. Just have somebody show you how. Like I did. Making small accessories for your truck or for whatever you need, just be a little bit creative. And I think, I think everybody's got their creativity in them and I think you do too. With the right tools, right know-how, you can think, you can think about what you want to make, you can make it. So, Please, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. If you would please, there's that button's down here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Just push that if you would please. That'd be wonderful. And I'll see you on the next video.